let this Q equal an unknown number of mathematicians. El vigésimo quinto Congreso Internacional de Matemáticos. Here to watch the King of Spain dishing out gongs to the best and brightest of their peers. Now subtract the man of the hour, the enigmatic Gregory Perlman, who's cracked one of the last great puzzles in his subject, only to shun the limelight and a check for a million dollars. The result, another conundrum, as perplexing in its way as the first. Oh, it is so cool not to pick up the check at the end. <laughs> that's the coolest thing in the world, that, that's why we're talking about it. Perlman is 40, from St. Petersburg, keeps himself to himself. In a rare interview, he said, I know that self-promotion happens a lot, and if people want to do that, well, good luck to them, but I don't regard it as a positive thing. I realized this a long time ago, and nobody's going to change my mind. Perlman has solved Poincaré's conjecture, named after the Frenchman who posed it a century ago. Here, as if you need it, is the conjecture in a nutshell. Every simply connected closed three-manifold without boundary is homeomorphic to a three-sphere. The way to think of it is this. You've got a novel, and you've got a way of writing a summary of a novel. How accurate is the summary? Can you get back from the summary some idea of what the novel is like? That's what algebra does. It simplifies the geometry and it loses some information. The professor illustrated Perlman's breakthrough with the aid of balloons. Now remember we're doing maths here. You want to prove that this can't happen. You pump more and more air into this and... And with the familiar silhouette of the ring donut, known to leading mathematicians for some reason as the torus. How chuffed would you be if you'd cracked this yourself? <laughs> I think I ought to wake up. This is way beyond anything I can do. Maths geniuses like Perlman are often associated with bizarre behaviour. John Nash became the subject of the hit film Beautiful Mind. And in the arts, J.D. Salinger and Harper Lee famously withdrew from the world. And we had no problem with, with, with great artists of the past being locked away in their garrets or on, 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 a, on a pittance, creating great and wonderful works of art. And so similarly, there's no reason to, to look at mathematicians, great pure mathematicians, in this same framework. And um, they're not all as extreme as Perlman, but, but he has locked himself away just so he can focus on what he loves, which is doing math. Gregory Perlman may yet decide to trouser the million bucks, but he's got form in the prize-rejecting department. He's turned them away before. He can't be all that bright, you may think. <laughs> <laughs>